For some artists, the only limitation to achieving that work of art is in your mind. That voice telling you, I cannot do this. Remember that one? But it's always great to silence that voice and be focused till you find your dream and achieve that work of art. On Art House today, we will meet some young artists that dare to be different as they exhibit their works of art. Plus, Adewale Alimi salutes the beautiful and courageous nature of women in his solo exhibition. Then we'll have our Artist of the Week segment and so much more. You're in for an intriguing time on this week's edition of the show. Welcome. I'm Melinda Akinlami, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. An artist has only his dreams. He has no power. It's the last month of the year. Christmas is already in the air. So much excitement on the art scene as well. In Abuja, the National Gallery of Art organized an art competition and it was amazing to see what these young artists had to show. For six years and still counting, the National Gallery of Art has been engaged in carting art young. From the primary, secondary to tertiary institutions, there has been an intense search for the next big thing waiting to be discovered among their peers and trying to encourage them. It's important because we use it to sell ideas to the, to, to the public, to conscientize the public about what we are facing as a nation and how we can remedy it. This alone will go a long way to encourage people, to encourage young talents to put in their best and to bring out things that, will, that will people will marvel at. They have also explored themes that may seem far beyond their years, as most of the topics over time have always focused on national development, probably to raise their consciousness and see their interpretation of what's happening in the country. It came to my mind when I was doing this work because when we joined Opus together, that means it's united. And when two hands join together, which means they are living in peace. Actually, if you check Nigeria today, every, almost everything depends on light. And if you check, even in the streets, businesses, barbers, Weathers, mention them. Light, they depend so much on light. This security issue you are talking about depends solely on light. Without stable electric, uh, electricity, the cameras and other stuff that will serve as back of security will not be there. So I feel with light. The issue of security will be, will be handled properly. The two beds represent peace and the two hands represent Christian and Muslim. Coming together is a, road, is a roadmap to national development, to develop our country, Muslims and Christians. Envisioning a new Nigeria through visual art, rebranding Nigeria through visual art, electoral reform as ethics or good governance, national security and tolerance, a roadmap to development, and visual art as tool for human capacity development are some of the themes different groups have done in the last five years. And this year, it's all about national security and stable power supply, a roadmap to national development, which the organizers believe is apt. When we talk of security today, we, we see what is happening in the uh, Northeast, the Boko Haram uh, issue. You see that mostly it has been uh, uh, carried out by youth and, and we are using this medium to address the youth that uh, we, need, we need to be, uh, be peaceful for development to take, take place. So it is very important because we are selling the message through visual art. And of course we need power for us to develop as a country. We are using this uh, to Tell the youth who are vandalizing our gas supply to power station that there is no need for it because if we we, we don't allow, if we don't allow that to happen, uh, we will find it difficult to move as a country. 
So we 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 use uh, this build up of visual art to address some of these challenges we face as a country. These children know what we are facing as a nation because you can see this beautiful work addressing this theme of stable power and security for us to have development. So you can see that even the children are aware of it and I believe that they put it their best to see that they can address uh, the, the theme. Uh, this is, is being seen in the works uh, displayed here. After a hectic selection process by a panel comprising critics and art teachers, these are the works that made the cut. Drawings, paintings and sculptural pieces. Art is as important as being a doctor, lawyer, or a nurse. I also think that art could be important because it decorates our environment and how art, there wouldn't be really colors or decoration around the world. In fact, that has been the focus in, in, in the previous years. The jury, they are focused to see that the work address what is the theme. Of, uh, of, of, of each year. and art, other things. When he go over there, he would then start working as a man, earning financial income to the country. So after there, he would then make the world know that Nigeria is a better country. Program 2 is uh, in, intended, of course, since we included the primary school uh, category and the secondary school. Apart from in, 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 uh, putting the theme to address issues of country, we use it to, to encourage young uh, artists, who, promising artists, pick talents among them and see that they develop to become uh, artists, professional artists with time. And through this, we have encouraged a lot of them that have got, taken it as art as a profession. And you know, when, you, when, when we are talking of economic diversification, of course, art is one area that government should pick interest in because if you train an artist, in most cases, he hardly wait for government job. All that he needs is the enabling environment for him to operate through his studio and whatever. And through that, they create a lot of employment. Many wonders have come out of the National Visual Art Competition, which is aimed at discovering and consolidating an artistic genius while enhancing their skills and creative abilities. It is also a clarion call for people to look at art differently, not just for its aesthetics, but look at its potential to make money for the country. Talk about catching art young, definitely a Generation Next project. And those ones sure do look good to go. With more encouragement and support, they will 
surely go places. And this next artist is willing to go places as well. He takes us on an artistic journey with his paintings. You'll get the details in a moment, so don't go anywhere. In the early 1970s, when he was appointed lecturer and acting head of the Fine Arts Department at the University of Nigeria in Tsuka, he reviewed the entire course program, introducing new courses and research into Igbo Uli art tradition. In 1973, he also designed the first course program of the Department of Fine and Applied Art, Institute of Management and Technology, Enugu, and initiated postgraduate courses in the Department of Fine Arts, University of Nigeria in Tsuka. He has been a director, Institute of African Studies, University of Nigeria and Suka, visiting professor to the Department of Creative Arts, University of Port Harcourt, honorary deputy director general, Africa of the International Biographical Center, Cambridge, amongst other numerous engagements with many educational and cultural institutions in different parts of the world. Mm -hmm. 